Hello, my name is Onion Shizer, and today we'll be talking about Voxel Logistics. This video will be from the colonial point of view. This one times approximately 10 minute video will be broken down into two stages for ease of learning. In stage one, you'll be learning about the types of resources, equipment needed, and how to gather and refine. In stage two, you'll be learning about types of materials, equipment needed, and how to create and deliver. From the ancient Roman armies to the modernized armies today, Wars cannot be fought without being supplied with bullets, armor, food, rations, and building supplies. The same is true in the world of Foxhole, although it is simplified. Our bases cannot survive without garrison and bunker supplies. Our men cannot respond without soldier supplies. They cannot fight without bullets, and they also need weapons to fire these bullets. You will use this knowledge gained from this video throughout your Foxhole career. There will be no class answers. If you have a question, you may put up your hand, but I am unable to see you or answer your question. Let us move to stage 1 and learn about the types of resources there are. Press M to open up your map. You will now learn to identify these resources on your map. Following the cursor, we have the sulfur field, the salvage field, the component field, and oil well. We also have sulfur mine, salvage mine, component mine. This hammer is where you refine these resources. Also note that the refinery displays the amount of resources and materials currently available. Now that you have learned to identify the resources on the map, let us identify the resources on the ground. This is a salvage field. You can approach the cars in the middle to see how many nodes are left. The component field is indicated by the tank. And the sulfur field is indicated with these yellow rocks. This is a sulfur mine. It is powered by either diesel or petrol put in an inventory and it creates sulfur for you. This is the salvage mine. It does the same thing as the sulfur mine but for salvage. And thirdly, the component mine. An oil well is to the south and we are now approaching the refinery. You will now learn about the equipment needed to gather these resources. For hand tools, we have the hammer and sledgehammer. Note that the sledgehammer is significantly better than the hammer. For vehicles, we have the VMS Scrap Hauler. Although called a scrap hauler, do not transport scrap or other resources with this vehicle as it uses up a lot of gas and it is not time efficient at all. For transporting resources, we have the R5 Atlas Hauler. This truck holds 20 slots of resources and only resources. It cannot be used to transport materials. Next up, we have the VMS Pack Mule Flatbed. Although not capable of carrying a lot of resources on its own, it is capable of carrying a resource container, which holds 5,000 resources of your choice. You can also use a truck that hauls materials to also haul resources. However, this is not time efficient. We will talk more about these material haulers later on in this video. You will now learn how to gather and refine resources. Using your map, locate the resources that you want to find as per earlier on this stage. Hop in the Atlas hauler if available, or create your own at the garage. As you can see, a hauler was available to me, and I am taking it over to the salvage field now. Every so often, people doing the Lord's work will put excess salvage into these boxes, making it easier to gather. Using the worst, but only gathering to available to us, the hammer, we will now proceed to hammer away at these salvage nodes. As you can see right now, the hammer gathers at an extremely slow rate. The sludge hammer gathers at a significantly faster rate, and the scrap hauler even faster. Sometimes while you're doing the Lord's work, you will meet occasional friendly players. Again, man, if you want to, you can just take from that resource box thing that we're filling up. We don't care, we got so much of it that we've already got from earlier. Thank you, Phoenix Lord. It appears you are both a Lord and a Saint. Thanks to Phoenix Lord and his friends, we are now able to fill up a truck with salvage to bring over back to the refinery. As this salvage has already been submitted to the container, the fastest way to withdraw it is to shift click them. As you can see, it withdraws three stack at a time. Your mom doesn't live in Foxhole, so be sure to clean up your mess if you accidentally withdraw too many stacks. Every so often, resource nodes will drop an additional item known as tech resources. These tech resources, which are both iron and aluminum, are used to upgrade the tech tree of your nation. In this case, earlier, I deposited some iron into the resource container as a thank you to Phoenix Lord. 
we will now proceed to drive on the wrong side of the road, hitting every vehicle on the way back to town. This is completely optional and not recommended. Upon arrival at the refinery, we can proceed to shift click to salvage to quickly make some basic materials. Please note that you can swap between the public and private stash. When you're on the public stash, it automatically fills up the public storage as seen to the right. Your homework would be to go to the refinery and to research what refined resources it creates. Do we have any questions? If you guys have no questions for me, I have some questions for you. Question one, how do you gather resources? Correct, you can use a hammer, sledgehammer, or BMS scrap hauler. The hammer is the worst while the BMS scrap hauler is the best. Question number two, should you deliver resources using a BMS scrap hauler? You are correct. No, you should not use a BMS scrap hauler to deliver resources. Always use an R5 Atlas hauler for the most efficient delivery. You can also use a material hauler if you're in a pinch. The BMS scrap hauler is too slow and uses too much diesel to transport. We will now proceed to stage two and start off with the types of materials. Press M to open up your map. The building indicated by the cursor is the factory. This factory has a Q limit of 20. We will now identify the factory on the ground. This is the factory. The factory produces all the materials needed for war. Each of these materials are grouped up into different tabs. The first tab is for small arms, the second tab for heavy arms, the third tab for utilities, fourth tab medical supplies, and fifth tab supplies. You will now learn about the equipment needed besides the factory. To transport completed materials, you have the R1 hauler. This truck has 15 slots and is used to transfer items from the refinery to the factory and from the factory to the front lines. We also have the R5 Bravo Sisyphus hauler. This hauler can only hold 14 slots, however it has racing stripes on its wheels and you can press shift to get a boost. Note that this boost consumes a significant amount of diesel. This is the R9 Spear Tip Escort. This truck holds 15 slots and has a 7.92mm machine gun. You may also use a resource container in conjunction with the BMS flatbed as described earlier. You will now learn how to create and deliver materials. In order to figure out what materials you need to create, hover over a base that is near the front lines to determine what materials it currently have. As you can see from this example, we are low on shirts, we have no base supplies or bunker supplies. We also have a lot of SMG ammo, however, we do not have any SMGs to fire that ammo. All these items are viable options for you to create and deliver to this specific base. Once you have identified what materials you want to make, hop in the hauler of your choice and withdraw some materials from either your personal stash or from the public stash. Note that you can shift click the refined resources in the public stash to transfer a larger stack at a time. You will now proceed to deliver these items over to the factory. Find the items in the tabs that you wish to create, noting that each tab has its own independent queue. Once you have queued up all the materials you wish to make, you will now play the waiting game until the queue is complete. Once your queued items are completed, you can click on the green check boxes to load them onto your truck automatically. After loading up on your materials, plot your route to your destination. Now begins the Euro Truck Simulator portion of this game. Upon arrival at your destination, please be aware that it is the front lines. Be wary of enemy mines and ambushes on route. Once you approach the main base or bunker, press E to access it, and shift click all the material boxes that you've brought. Once the bunker's inventory has been filled, submit these items to stockpile, and watch all these commendations start flowing in. Good job. Do you have any questions? Well, as I can't hear any of your questions, I have some questions for you. Question one, how do you know what to make and deliver? Correct, check your map, for bases at the front. People may also drop pins requesting resupplies too. Please turn over your notes. We will now begin the final test portion of this video. Question one, how do you know what to make and deliver? Correct, check your map for bases at the front. People may also drop map pins requesting resupplies too. Question two, should you deliver resources using the BMS scrap hauler? Correct, no. You should not use a BMS scrap hauler to deliver resources. Always use an R5 Atlas hauler for the most efficient delivery. You can also use a material hauler if you're in a pinch. 
The BMS scrap hauler is too slow and uses too much diesel to transport. Question 3. Why is logistics important? Correct. An army cannot fight without supplies. And this concludes our video. In this video, you have learned types of resources, equipment needed for resources, and how to gather and refine resources, as well as types of materials, equipment needed for materials, and how to create and deliver materials. As stated before, the reason why you need to know this is that an army cannot fight without supplies. You will use this knowledge throughout your Foxhole career. You have been a good class and have focused well even though we have went a little bit over time. Once again, I am Onion Chaz and have a good day.